the main thing I love about the Apple Watch 6 and I, the main reason why I don't want any other watch. So I actually started with the first Apple Watch and I want to compare that with uh, Watch 6 because I didn't buy any watch in between. After buying the Apple Watch 1, I just kind of stopped wearing it. But the main thing I liked about the Apple Watch is the alarms, um, the timer, and then just the fact that I didn't have to really use my phone that much. I could just kind of quickly glance or um, look at my watch. And I it, I did, almost felt like it was it's less distracting because I don't have to pull my phone out and then get distracted by some other app. So anyway, I ended up just getting rid of my Apple Watch 1 and I just for the last couple of years, I've been wanting a new one. This is a new Apple Watch 6. I got the base model. Um, in the midnight blue, which is actually, it just looks black, but I really like the the tint that it has to the blue. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, uh, it just, I think it looks a lot better than the previous space gray model that came with the Apple Watch and really all the other Apple Watches until now. Okay, initial impressions. Uh, the always on display, it's, uh, I thought I wasn't gonna like it at first, but I uh, I really find it handy and useful. Um, there have been some weird things that I haven't figured out yet, like um, at nighttime, I kind of want the display off. I wish I could um, change the settings for how long I want the display on, because I don't want to put it in sleep mode, because I still want the notifications, but I don't want the display on like throughout the day. And I haven't figured out, maybe there is a way to change that, but I just haven't figured it out yet. Another thing I noticed right off the bat, it's much faster than the Apple Watch one. And I felt like the Apple Watch one was already fast. And so it's definitely a speed boost, but it's not like a huge uh, game changer or anything. I feel like the main reason to upgrade is, is if you want the always on display and, and if you want the larger screen. Another thing I really like about this watch is the fast charging. I really just need to charge it once a day. And I'm, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to figure it out if I can just wake up in the morning, charge it while I take a shower, and then put it on and see if I can just go the rest of the day and, and um, keep it going like that. So that's kind of my test right now. We're gonna see how that goes. So this morning I woke up and I, I charged it at 100% before I left for work, about nine o'clock. And right now it's 8 p.m. and it is 55% battery life. So that's pretty good. The main reason I hated the first Apple Watch is like I felt like I had to take it off my wrist constantly and charge it constantly. Um, but this one, I just I just charge it before I get in the shower and I'm um, ready to go. Feel of this watch. I would say it feels about the same as the last one. It's a tiny bit thinner, but it's not like really that noticeable. I think it looks a little sleeker, it just looks a little bit better than the last one. Okay, the things I don't care about the new Apple Watch. I don't care about the pulse oximeter. Um, I, I'm young and I don't need to worry about my oxygen levels. Um, and I feel like if I did need to worry about that, I would just buy a pulse oximeter and I wouldn't rely on the Apple Watch. Um, but it is probably good that it will check it while you're sleeping at night. So if, um, if you tend to be, if you are overweight or you have um, sleep apnea, the Apple Watch could be good to know if your oxygen levels drop while you're sleeping at night. So I could, I could see that as like a really nice feature to have. And then another thing is, what is it? The EGG um, heart rate function. Um, that's not something I really think I need. Okay, so this is the biggest feature of this watch um, and that's the look. Um, the main thing I love about the Apple Watch 6 and I, the main reason why I don't want any other watch is because I just like how it looks. I feel like it almost looks like the stainless steel in black. It's almost like a matte black. I don't know. I mean, it looks like an aluminum black Apple Watch, which I think it just looks way better. And I was really hesitant about buying this watch at first because I didn't want it to look blue but it doesn't really, it just has those blue tones. And I, I didn't want the, the band either because before I had the black band and I just didn't really like it, but I just, I don't know. I just really like the color of the band. I, I think the midnight blue, those tones, because they're just incremental, they just make the watch stand out and look nice. Um, 
actually they make the watch not stand out um, and I feel like they just kind of go with uh, with whatever you're wearing so if you don't want to stand out have a watch that just um, functions good and it can go with a lot of different watch bands I think this is just kind of a really good one to go with um, I really like the screen size that's another reason I wanted this watch it's just a lot bigger I have super small wrists so it's nice having that extra screen size and uh, it's great because I use a calculator every day at work so it's easy to just quickly access it and get to my calculator but the main feature here the main reason I like this watch is the color I'm really happy with this midnight blue color is what they call it but it's mostly like a very subtle dark dark blue um, and same with the watch band now another uh, one thing to consider is uh, originally I wanted the Nike sport band because I was gonna get that in midnight blue they don't make it in midnight blue they have an option it's it might even be called midnight blue but it's not midnight blue and it's it's just a dark blue so just be aware of that before you buy it so should you upgrade to this watch from the Apple watch one I would say I would say yes, just because there's so many features that have changed, um, but they're not huge. Um, I just, I like how this looks. I like the color. I like the always on display. I like it's a little bit faster and I like the fast charging. Um, yeah, those are reasons to buy this watch. I know everyone says that these are like very um, small differences between the six and the five. And if you have one of those watches, just keep that watch. And I, I would say they're exactly right, but um, I really like the fast charging in this watch. I think it makes a big difference. Um, and then just how this watch looks, I think it's just way better. I was really thinking about getting the stainless steel, but I don't spend, um, I didn't want to spend like six, seven hundred dollars on a watch. Um, to me, it's just not practical. And I feel like this kind of gives you that same look as the the stainless steel. So anyway, that's uh, my review of it. And hope you enjoyed this video. And comment below if you liked. And thanks for watching. Hey guys, today I'm just gonna to talk to you about what is the best headphone to sleep in. And I have the Sony W1000WXM3s. They're not the latest, the M4s are the latest, but I'll have the links in the description below if you decide to purchase one. Um, I really think these are the most comfortable headphones. Um, I would go with them but I hate that they don't connect to multiple devices like the, the Apple headphones. So Apple's headphones, oh, these are so nice. Just, just putting them on my ear right now. It sounds, it literally sounds like uh, I'm not wearing headphones because the speakers are that good. But when I put on the Sony's, speakers are not so great. Uh, I just feel like um, hearing that outside noise uh, just doesn't do as good of a job. And then this, these have just slightly better noise cancellation. Not as, uh, it's about the same as the Sony's. Uh, I don't think they look as cool, but these have, they're better to sleep in because they're thinner. But if you have facial hair, these things are, the, the ear cups are gonna kind of snag on your hairs a little bit, which is kind of annoying. And they're just a little bit rougher, you know? It's kind of like, the difference of like sleeping in silk sheets around your ears versus like 100 thread count uh, with the apples. These are not going to be quite as comfortable. Now, but these are thicker. You know, if these were just thinner, these would be the perfect ones. So if you're not going to sleep for a very long time or if you're just on a flight, go with Sony's. Um, but if you're using this, if you have more than one Apple device, if you have AirPod, uh, if you have an Apple phone, um, if you have an iPhone, an iPad, a MacBook, or any other device like an Apple TV, stick with these because they connect to everything instantly and quickly, and I just think they're a whole lot better. Um, but if you're just gonna go on the plane, or if you need these for the car trip, or just a short ride, these are gonna be way more comfortable 
So my choice for sleeping, it's really hard to say because, but I think just because these are so much more comfortable, I would probably go with these. All right, that's my review. I hope you liked it. Comment below, like, and check out the links in the description below to purchase. Bye. And check out the links in the description below if you're interested in one of these headphones. Thanks for watching.